So, I was going to talk about this Ruger standard. I haven't cleaned it yet because I spent a lot of time just trying to figure this part out. And I'm going to try to get the camera where you can see it. Uh, obviously, you have to pull this little pin out. And to do that, I've found that a paperwork works, paper clip works really well. You just hook the paper clip in behind that little spring thing right there. And you, give it a, you get it in there and you give it a tug. You see me tugging that out? like that comes out like that now what I want you to pay attention to is when you mash this back in I'm not going to take it all the way out I'm actually going to put it back in there but when you put it back in there I want you to notice that there's there's a little spring action right there and the reason there's a little spring action right there is that there's a little a little there's a little pin inside this gun that hangs down in here. It's about twice as big around as this clip. And, it, and it'll go all up in here or all back in here. And it connects to the mechanism here that works the trigger. This thing is shaped with a kind of a C shape and then a little upward L shape up here. And this pin has to get not down in the L shape and not down here, but it has to get inside that C shape. And this little bit of pressure that you feel right here, it's that pin that isn't all the way in there yet and I'm gonna put this back in see that 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 means the gun's all good she works you can cock it shoot it all good so um what I'm gonna do is just take it out and try to show you that pin and show you how to get that pin lined up so when I pull this out it comes like that and see this little area right here that's where that pin rides in right in there and if you look and I don't know if you can see this or not the whole goal of setting this camera up this way is for you to be able to see that little pin right there I'm moving it I'm touching it and I'm moving it now that pin has to fall on top of this as I close this gun up and so that there's a little pressure when I push this now there's a little pressure now it can also fall forward, which I think it may have just done. You can't even see it now. Uh, I can't see it. And that's because it's forward. See, it's way, if you can see that in there, it's way up in there now. So you have to get it to fall back down into the proper place here in order to close that so that there's pressure on that. I have to... There, I just had to shake the gun. Now the pin is back in place here. Now when this pin comes out, and I'll go ahead and pull it out, because uh, this is how you take it apart. You put your, you put your hand here on, and let, let Honey Baby get out of the way so I won't be pointing a gun at her while I do that. Not that there's any bullets in it. You basically pull this down, and that releases all this stuff. And then that releases this. See, and the whole gun comes apart. And, and when you put it back together, this, this is the mechanism right here. In fact, if you look in there, that's that little pin right there. Right there. Or right there. Here it is from this side. Right there. That's the little pin that we're talking about. So in order for that to go that that uh, for this to go back in place, this has to be all the way down. And right now that pin is keeping it from going. See, right now the pin is keeping it from going because it's hitting up against that little bar there. So you just have to get the pin to be in the right place. Now this is all the way down and you can take your barrel and chamber and everything set it up in place and scooch it back into place there now it's back where it goes so the trick and this is the trick is to get this pin which goes up through here that that slips up into there i got it backwards and this little piece goes up in here but that little piece I've been talking about fits right down in this chamber and that's the part I watched a bunch of videos and I couldn't figure out 
where's that thing supposed to go and where's it supposed to fit so it took me a while to figure that out so what I have to do first of all is make sure the pin is down and it is right now the pin is right here y'all see that I hope you can see that so right now I can put this in which I kind of reach in here sort of like this and to get that little plunger to fit up in here and then I'm gonna take it all the way up it's not all the way in my barrel may not be all the way back I don't know my bolt went all the way back so that goes all the way up in there and see the top of it just came out now I gotta get that little pin to fall into place I'm gonna do it by kind of moving this like that and you see it just fell into place there so now when I close this no nope, it's not in place let's do that again the pin is there I think I have to pull the trigger to do that that's probably what I'm doing wrong yeah I have to pull the trigger now you can tell when I mash this there's a little spring pressure right there that's because that pin is in place so now I can take and fold that up and she's good to go again that will help anybody I'll just say that I watched a bunch of videos and all of the taking apart of this gun is explained but that little pin is tricky and uh, so I just want to make a video just about the pin I hope that helps probably doesn't y'all probably look at this and say oh I can't see nothing so anyway I tried have a great day see ya happy shooting uh, by the way we are gonna clean the gun I've taken it apart about eight times now we haven't cleaned it yet but we will see ya